Hello everyone, we're here to talk today about the uh, Sumo Bot from Parallax. Now Parallax uh, offers a Sumo Bot kit that can contain one or two Sumo Bots. Now these are great if you're just starting out with robotics. It's a uh, very lightweight, very easy to build. Only requires one tool to build this entire kit. Um, now as you see, there's, there are some wires here hanging around that we haven't quite finished up yet. And we haven't quite finished up this kit yet. However, uh, we have done some programming with it and we have gone ahead and and messed around a bit with it, but let's start off. So we basically ordered this kit because we want to see what's it like to build a Sumo bot and what's it like to get into Sumo itself. For those of you who aren't familiar with Sumo, Sumo is basically uh, a competition that you can see at uh, robotic events. Basically you'll have a ring and you'll have two Sumo bots. Um, they could look like this. There's many different flavors. I believe there's different weight classes and whatnot and what they can and can't do. Um, I myself am not an expert in Sumo bot, but I wanted to give it a shot. We were out at Robo Games and we got to see actually a couple of these compete as well as some homemade ones, which were very interesting. Now, <clears throat> what we found is when we ordered the kit, came in a nice, you know, it came with everything that we required: manual, CD, all the parts, and one tool, which was the parallax screwdriver. One of the nice things about parallax robotic kits is that they basically try to include all the tools you're going to need to build it. Occasionally, you'll need maybe a wire stripper or some pliers, but for the most part, you can get away with just what they give you. In this case, we actually did just get away with the uh, with the screwdriver and a pair of pliers, I believe, just to help us out. If you want to check out how we built this, go ahead and check out our robotic tutorials, um, how to build a robot part two, which highlights the sumo bot. Now let's start by looking at what the sumo bot is really made up of. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit, bring it up to the camera. So basically, uh, there we go, some focus. So basically, the sumo bot has two wheels. Okay, these two wheels in the sumo bot. Are on the left and right and they're driven by two motors and in this case they're actually just servos um, parallax servos we've used parallax servos in the past before for many of our kits and they're very reliable the only thing that's different from parallax servos compared to let's say a high-tech servo or standard hobby servo is that the mounting part where you actually mount the components like in this case the wheels is a little bit larger than expected so don't expect just to get those and be able to mount any servo thing you can on there. But for the purposes of this robot kit, you should be able to you know, get away with everything. Um, the other part you'll notice is that there is the battery pack. The battery pack is mounted on the bottom. Now, at first we're kind of like, well, you know, double A's, why do we need to do this, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, why not just a battery pack? You can opt to get a battery pack if you'd like. Um, for our purposes, we're not going to be doing a lot of experimentation with the Sumo Bot. It's mainly just to compete. So we think that the battery pack is more than enough, and it'll be more. It'll suffice more than what you need. Um, there's not a lot of sensors on this on this robot, so you know you should be fine. The next part you'll notice is this shovel-looking thing in the front. Now that's what's actually used as the ramming, the, the the ramming portion of the bot. Basically, two robots will get in the ring, and they're going to ram each other. And whoever rams the other off the uh, out of the ring wins. So in this case, that's what this is going to be used for. Now, if you plan on competing, one of the high things I highly recommend is that the sensors that the, the kit came with are right here. I don't know if you can actually see them or not. They're a little loose. Um, they basically say to just mount it there. You might want to find a better way to mount it. Um, but uh, that way, you know, it doesn't come loose. You don't lose a sensor halfway through. But basically, these are infrared sensors on the front. Now these infrared sensors are used to find an object and actually chase after it or avoid it or do whatever algorithm you plan on doing. Uh, the other thing to notice is that the kit came with line following sensors and we've mounted those to the bottom. That's so you can detect when you're about to exit the ring. So if you look at this picture here, you'll notice that the ring, there are two lines, this one and the other one. And then there's a white line and then there's a black ring. Well, what you'll do with these sensors is you'll detect the edge of that ring so when you get to it, you're going to back away, spin around, and go the other direction. That way you yourself don't fall off. Furthermore, if you're being pushed off and you see something, you want to be able to react to it. So you want to be able to go backwards or forwards or, you know, however it is that you want to go. Um, yet another thing that you'll notice about this kit is that there's a breadboard on top, and that's for prototyping. Now, the kit came with a bunch of things that you can prototype with, little buzzers, some lights, etc., etc., etc. I believe there are some rules for the sumo bot competition, so you're gonna to need to have some of that. For our purposes, we're not gonna go ahead and mount those. Basically, what we wanted to do with this kit is we want to see what it's like to build one of these, how hard is it to program, and so on. Now, the next portion is that this is connected to your PC via a serial cable, so an RS-232. You basically connect it, 
turn it on and it's ready to go. Notice how we turn it on here, lights green, we're good. Now I'm not sure if the actual program is still installed on this one or not, let's try that out. We actually programmed it already and it's basically doing some object uh, scanning techniques. So it's got some objects in front of it, it's looking for it, okay there they are. So it's actually, this is the, just one of the algorithms that we implemented on it. Now as you can see it's not really advanced, can't really do what we want it to do. You know, if I just block it in, I'll just keep spinning around. If I put something shiny in the front, it stops. So, as you can see, that's just an example of what this robot can and can't do. Um, the nice thing about this kit is that you don't need to know C++, you don't need to know any fancy programming language. It's all basic. The other, It's all basic programming, and it comes with the software that you need, complete with the CD. This will include all the documentation you need, product brief, sample code, image files, and any software you're going to need for your computer. Um, it also comes with a serial cable to easily connect your Sumo bot to your PC. All you need is the available serial port. Furthermore, in the documentation itself, when you start scanning to the back, you'll start seeing some, some gray areas. I'm not sure if you can see that. They actually talk about the code, give you some you know, descriptions about it, what you can do with it, what you can't do with it. It's definitely something that I think if you've never programmed before, if you're new to robotics, you know, you can go ahead, jump into it, build it. Um, I definitely think uh, an eight or nine year old could probably build this kit um, that has the interest for robotics. As far as the programming is concerned, they might have to learn a little bit about that. Um, but basic is pretty much an easy language to learn. It's not difficult. There's not a lot of syntax behind it. Not a lot of not, not a lot of logic. So, and the actual purpose of the sumo bot is basically detect an object or avoid an object and don't go into the ring. So the task of the robot's not that difficult. So it should be something they will be able to accomplish. All in all, I think this is a great kit to start off. It's only 159 bucks for one sumo bot. If you have uh, children that are two, more than one child that's interested in doing sumo bot, you can order the package deal, which comes with two sumo bots that can both build it, compete against each other, and it even comes with a ring that they can practice with. Um, just so you know, I think it might be a paper ring. The one that they actually use in the competition is a wooden ring painted black with a white strip around it. Sometimes they have the line, sometimes they don't. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That concludes this review of the Sumo Bot. We encourage you to check out the robot tutorials that we have online on the rugcommunity.org where in uh, actually how to build a robot part two shows you step by step us actually building the sumo bot working with it and doing a little bit of programming um, take care